Hello, my name's Anthony Nicodemo. We're here at Brennan Airport, 10 miles north of Whitman Field in Oshkosh, and this is the Pips Trail Alpha Trainer. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Join AOPA today. Thanks to Lightspeed for sponsoring this video. Click below to learn more about the Lightspeed Delta Zulu. I'm the aircraft sales manager for Lincoln Park Aviation. We're one of the three U.S. distributors for Pips Drill Aircraft. So uh, Pips Drill was traditionally a, a glider manufacturer and they uh, quickly got into uh, light sport aircraft or lighter aircraft. We target mainly the US with, with this particular uh, model. It does share a lot of features with the other Pipstrel two-seaters, uh, mainly the, uh, the fuselage and the cockpit. The gross weight of the aircraft is uh, 1,212 pounds. We uh, run the Rotax 912 uh, 80 horsepower with a fixed pitch propeller and uh, with that combination we can register it as light sport in, in the US. Uh, we also have uh, what we call air brakes, uh, they're really spoilers, uh, automatic spoilers. We usually equip the aircraft uh, so that it qualifies as a technically advanced aircraft. So with the Garmin G3X, PFD, MFD, um, and a GPS, two radios, a backup G5, and an autopilot. And that's what makes it a great training platform for doing everything from your uh, primary up to commercial and instrument. It's a very efficient aircraft, making it affordable both for the student pilot and profitable for the, for the flight school. So you're burning on average in a, in a flight training environment uh, 3.6 gallons an hour. For an hour, we burned only about two gallons. So depending on the type of operations that you're doing, uh, you can get down to you know, two and a half gallons an hour. Um, so if you're doing a lot of pattern work, you're, you're probably burning a little bit, a little bit less. And part of that is because when you're coming into land, most of your landings are power off 180s. So once you get a beam the numbers, you're just going full power idle and gliding in. What I like about this is it, it really emphasizes energy management to the students and also it really develops your stick and rudder skills. So you, you have to use your, your feet in, in this aircraft, particularly at lower speeds. Um, with the full length flapper ons, you do get a little bit more adverse yaw at slower air speeds. Um, so it does promote good technique in, in that sense. And also having all that advanced avionics in there, once it comes time to doing cross country work and more advanced training, it's there, it's, it's an all in one platform. Great visibility with, with the doors, particularly being all glass, you get great, great visibility out the side. Um, you can't really see the cowling from the cockpit but you still get great visibility forward. And when you're flying, you don't want to be staring at the, co at the uh, cowling. You want to be looking down the runway. So it helps promote that proper technique as well. Yeah, this, this aircraft does come with a full airframe parachute, which adds that extra layer of, of security. It also has a great glide ratio of 15 to one. It's very simple to, uh, to maintain and simple to start and stop. Being a modern Rotax engine, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the mixture and the carb heat. It's easy to start and stop. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned energy management. Um, having the air brakes gives you the flexibility to, to learn how to land without using them and, and uh, experiencing something more similar to a glider. Or if you wanted to replicate an approach which is common to more traditional trainers, then you can use the air brakes and you'll, you'll descend at a steeper approach angle. So here in the cockpit, we have, um, starting from the back here, we have the flap selector, a handbrake, combination handbrake, parking brake, uh, we have the trim switch 
and we have the trim indicator which is on the panel. Uh, the Rotax engine has the throttle lever and a choke, no, no uh, carb heat or mixture. And then you have all your, your switches in front of you here. And then moving up the panel, we have our Garmin G3X. We have two radios, the uh, 375, so GPS and transponder, our backup G5, and then uh, a fantastic autopilot. Here is our switch for our air brakes, and we have a couple of different settings. We can go automatic, in which case the, the uh, air brakes will deploy when you select flaps two, or you can use them manually as long as you're below 70 knots. You switch them on and off as you like. Um, instead of having to slip the air, aircraft, you can cheat and deploy the air brakes and you come down nicely. We have adjustable pedals, so the seats aren't adjustable, but the pedals are to accommodate all, all sizes. And we even have lumbar support to help with comfort. So on the Alpha Trainer, you have storage behind the seats. The fuel tank is in the back, so on this particular model, um, much of the fuel spa uh, space is taken up by the fuel tank, but you still have enough room for a couple of bags. On uh, our other models, the fuel tanks are wing mounted and uh, there's a lot more space for, for baggage.